Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, we're going to be continuing with XML and I'm going to finish this short XML series with looking at an example um, from the YouTube Data API. Now, I've got the YouTube Data API um, page, if you like, up. The, um, it's in the Tools section of uh, Google Code. So uh, the URL is here if you want to have a look um, at this as well. So, um, okay, let's come down and we can have a look here. We've got several options and what these different options are gonna do is generate um, XML documents for us so we, can, so we can grab data specifically from where we want. Some is gonna enable uh, or use um, auth authentication, but we're not gonna be focusing on that. We're gonna be focusing on just um, uh, simple features of this. So here um, in the uh, you're in the uh, another tab, I have a specific feed for a specific video on YouTube, and this is denoted here by the videos forward slash and then the video name uh, itself. So uh, to replicate this for yourself um, and test it for yourself, just simply take um, the uh, the name of the video so we'll have on YouTube we have watch and then equals and a value here so uh, I'm sure you know what I mean it's just the unique code that identifies each video so if you take this and pop it into this URL you'll be presented with uh, this data regarding the video so if you look carefully you can see things like uh, let's go and have a look here um, let's pick something out that we uh, might find useful Okay, so here up here we've got the title. So you can see here we've got the title tag start starting here. We've got some uh, attributes onto this, but we don't need to worry about that for now. But for now we've got title here and ends title here. So the title here you can see is contained within these tags. Um, you've also got the um, content here, which is create your own guestbook using PHP in a MySQL database. That's essentially a description, or the sorry, the content um, that's uh, relative um, to the description inside of this. So we can take the description from it as well. Um, and there's various other um, aspects we can take from this. But in this tutorial, we're just going to be focusing on getting the title and the description and displaying them on our page. So let's go ahead and open up context. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to set um, a variable which is gonna hold the data about this. So I'm gonna say video is equal to, and remember we'll be using this simple XML underscore load underscore file um, function. And in here we can simply take, we don't need to use a local file, we can use external files as well. So if we come into here, and um, copy and paste this here, the, this generated XML file, and come back into our text editor and paste that in there. What this will do is it will create um, our object from this function reading this URL. So we don't have to load in a, a file specifically. Um, it doesn't specifically have to be um, on in our um, in the directory or in another directory on our web server, but we can specify URLs as well. So now what we want to do is we want to come down here and establish what we want to say. So I'm gonna echo out title and I'm gonna break. And then underneath here, I'm gonna echo out the, um, the title of this. Um, in fact, let's append it onto the end of here to save uh, space and we'll, we'll create it all on one line. So what we essentially want to do is say video and then we want to say hyphen and then greater than. So we're taking um, a specific tag from this XML file. So the tag is called title. So as you know, what we do is we say um, title like that. So we're saying video title. Now, if for example, this was a list of, um, a list of videos, so uh, this data here may be a list of uh, say most popular videos, what we could actually do is we could loop this in a for loop. So for example, if we had more than one title tag on a page, we could create a loop, a for loop, as we've seen in the previous tutorials from our, from our own XML files, and we could actually um, 
read in several titles. Then what we could do is read in, say, several descriptions, and then we could link the user to these most popular videos. So it's very powerful. Because we're maintaining a data structure, these popular videos will update themselves. And as we've seen before, as new tags are added and old tags are removed, our, our um, script is going to keep up to date with these uh, because it's using the, exactly the same structure. So that's something to bear in mind if you're going to play around uh, with the page that I've already shown you here and you're going to say most viewed videos or um, most recent videos for example or top rated most discussed. You've got loads of different options uh, but for now we're just focusing on one video as an example. So we've echoed out the video title. Let's see if that's worked. First of all we're going to put this in bold. I'm um, going to append a break onto there so we can uh, view the description as well. Let's go back to our page and refresh. Okay, so you can see that we've got title, we've broken down, and we've actually displayed the title from this XML document. So you can already see how powerful this can be in taking specific elements about videos. Now, for example, let's say this video name changed on YouTube um, and it completely changed to something else. What's going to happen? Well, our XML is going to update itself, so therefore our code is going to equal the same value that's uh, specific to YouTube. So as well as um, being able to easily access these tags, we're also keeping up to date with everything uh, with the tags themselves when things might change uh, on YouTube. So now what we can do is uh, we've broken down and I'm going to echo out uh, exactly the same uh, thing. I'm going to say strong, strong. This time I'm going to say description, and this is the last example uh, I'm going to use, but I'll leave it up to you to go and play around with uh, different values, things like that. Let's just move this colon to outside of here. So we do exactly the same thing, and we say video, and this time it's content. Okay. So uh, now what we've done is we've grabbed the uh, start content of the description. Let's go back to our page and refresh, and you can see that it's given us a description of the video. And as I explained before, there's various um, other um, tags you can uh, you can take from this specific file itself. So we've got things down here like uh, the duration. Uh, we've got the thumbnail image, so uh, that corresponds to the the uh, video itself. Um, we've even got the rating for the video and the number of raters. So there's a vast amount of information that we can take just out of this single XML file and that's the powerful thing about XML is that lots of websites do use it um, in the API so you can just grab data quickly and update you may have come across websites say for example in YouTube that index different uh, YouTube videos and display data about them and in fact actual fact they allow that users to comment on them videos um, from their own website but that's a whole different uh, thing that's uh, the YouTube API itself so you'll find that Twitter um, and other social networking websites or other websites may produce their own XML feeds. Um, more specifically, we have news feeds from uh, websites as well in XML format. So XML is a really, really widely used standard that allows you to uh, maintain a specific um, structure to your code, uh, the code itself, and uh, actually echo out things uh, from it, and uh, which will constantly update depending on the, uh, the updates from the website. So that's taking a brief look at how to load in a file um, from YouTube for a specific video here and grab the title and the uh, video content from, uh, from this uh, XML file.